Hey you guys, today is a bit of a DIY slash show and tell. I'm going to convert a $5 fountain pen to use a flexible dip pen nib and then take it for a spin with some calligraphy and flourishing. So if you're following along at home, you're going to need a Jinhao 750. I have a link in the description to where you can buy it. A G nib of your choice, I'm going to use a Zebra G and some fountain pen ink. I'm not really a fountain pen buff, but I think it writes pretty well, so don't worry. If you do this process, you can easily put the original nib back in. So the first step is to uncap your fountain pen and pull out the original nib. It's super easy. It separates into two parts, the metal nib and the plastic buffer. So next you want to grab your G nib. I'm going to use a Zebra G, but you could use a Nico G and Tachikawa G as they have the same shape, or even a Platinum Zebra. I prep mine for use by putting it through a flame, so make sure to do that uh, for a couple of seconds. The next step is probably the trickiest, but it's really not that tricky, so you need to put the G nib on top of the plastic buffer that came with the pen. You need to align the side slits with the first row of slits in the buffer. Once that's aligned, you want to push the assembly back into where you pulled it out of in the fountain pen. So it's sometimes kind of difficult to keep it aligned, but I'm pretty much the clumsiest person in the world, as you can see by the amount of ink on my fingers, and I, I managed, so it's possible. So with the nib assembly done, I just filled it up with some black fountain pen ink, and then screwed on the back. So right off the bat, I was amazed at how fine the lines I could get were, and also how much I could just use the Zebra G like a Zebra G. I could flex it um, the normal amount as I would using it as a dip pen. So then I tried out some writing, and honestly, I'm really impressed. I don't normally write Spencerian with a straight holder, so it was actually a little hard for me to just keep the angle and everything correct. But aside from that, it works just Fine. For a script with super thick thicks all the way, I did sometimes find the ink blobbed at the nib and became kind of messy, but I could usually preempt that and it wasn't too bad. So next, I was keen to try offhand flourishing, which is something I do with a straight holder anyway, so I thought how cool would it be if I could just make these incredibly long, thick black shades that you need for flourishing without ever having to dip. And to my surprise, the pen actually performed really well. So as you can see, the spine was just made in a thick long stroke. You don't need to worry about re-dipping or if you're going to run out mid-stroke. I also want to mention that I first saw this tutorial for converting the Jin Hao 750 into using a GNIP on Tio's blog. He's an urban sketcher who reviewed this uh, arrangement for doing the line work. That's the basis of his sketches. And I'm really pleasantly surprised at how well it works for calligraphy and flourishing, actually. The biggest con for me is the ink flows. As I mentioned before, sometimes it can blob at the nib and then it gets kind of messy. Um, and if you pick up the pen after not using it for a day or two, sometimes it needs a little bit of a kickstart to get going. But I think those are all problems I could live with. And in general, this is an amazing portable solution to doing uh, this kind of pen work on the go. So that's it for me for today. Don't forget there's a link to everything in the description below and I release a new video about once a week so if you want to be notified of that please subscribe.